And the second angel sounded the trumpet, and there was a great mountain burning as with fire that was cast into the sea or lake, and a third part of the lake became blood. And a third part of the creatures which were in the sea or lake that had life died. Guys, we're in the tribulation. And we are seeing the signs, the apocalyptic signs happening all over the world. Here you see a blood red lake with a mountain fulfilling the second trumpet of Revelation. Guys, we're blowing the trumpet. We're sounding an alarm. We're in the tribulation of those days. And repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. And we're going to show you proof and evidence of the sign of the rivers turning to blood, the lakes turning to blood. The two witnesses, like Moses and Elijah, these have power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, just like Elijah. And they have power over the waters to turn them into blood, just like Moses, and to smite the earth with all manner of plagues as often as they will. Exodus 7, Yahweh told Aaron and Moses, Take your rod and stretch out your hand upon the waters of Egypt, upon their streams, upon their rivers, upon their ponds, and upon all their pools of water, that they may become blood. And that there may be blood throughout all the land of Egypt, both in vessels of wood and vessels of stone. And Moses and Aaron did so and lifted up their rod and smote the waters that were in the river in the sight of Pharaoh, in the sight of his servants, and all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. Startled residents of a Russian city inside the Arctic Circle have been posting photos of a local river that has mysteriously turned blood red. Photos published on Russian social media appear to the show the Dodikan River near the city of Norilsk, flowing vivid burgundy. Russian authorities have yet to establish a reason for the river's unusual appearance. The posts prompted Russia's environment ministry to respond issuing a statement announcing that it is investigating and that preliminary information suggests the cause was a leak from waste pipes belonging to Norilsk Nickel. A company subsidiary denied the pollution was caused by an accident involving the Hope Factory, according to the statement. The ministry said it is still working to locate the pollution source. We have reports of not just one, but multiple rivers turning blood red in different areas around Malawi and Indonesia. In the past we've seen this type of stuff pop up and sometimes there's no answers. So, and as you look here we've got pictures from two different areas. One in Indonesia and the other in Eastern Africa. Now the residents here in Eastern Africa were stunned when they came out and they're like you know, the area that we clean our clothes and we get our drinking water from and all this other stuff is blood red. Now we have an incident, and that was on the 19th of December. We have an incident in Indonesia on the 27th of December. They're saying a small river of Jayapura in Indonesia. They're saying it turned red as well. And there's no calls or no official explanation for what did that. And there was also another incident in November where there was a river that turned red mysteriously and there was no explanation for that. Residents in eastern China woke up early this week to find the river that runs through their city had turned blood red. The other night folks smelled something strange and then the Wenzhou River turned red blood red and nobody knows why. Environmentalists suspect that it may be from someone illegally dumpling, dumping 
artificial coloring into the waterway. But the river banks are covered with garbage. For now, inspectors are taking water samples for closer analysis. Chinese outlets report a paper company, clothing maker, and food coloring manufacturer all lie along the river and could have something to do with the incident. China News quotes the city's chief of the Environmental Protection Bureau, who said, We suspect that somebody dumped artificial coloring in the water because he thought the typhoon yesterday would cause heavy rain and nobody would notice the color. It turned out there wasn't heavy rainfall yesterday, so the evidence is left behind. The incident mirrors a 2012 phenomenon when China's Yangtze River turned a similar bloody tinge. According to the Daily Mirror, authorities claimed that incident was the result of sand distribution from upstream flooding. Look, man, these are biblical plagues, okay? I'm just going to tell you like it is. I'm going to blow the trumpet and tell you, yes, these are the trumpets of Revelation. No one is saying this. They're just saying, wow, look at this. Look at everything is turning. Yes, the Bible talks about this. Ezekiel chapter 32, verse 6 through 8, it says, I will water thy blood in the land wherein you were swimming, even to the mountains. The rivers shall be full of you. And I will put you out and cover the heaven and make the stars dark. And I'll cover the sun with a cloud and the moon shall not give her light. So these are the biblical plagues, the biblical judgments of the trumpet judgments in Revelation chapter 8. Okay, And there are signs in the last days that it's the same exodus taking place that took place with Moses, with Aaron. Okay, Psalm 78, 43. And he performed signs in Egypt in his marvels in the fields of Zon. And he turned the rivers to blood so that they could not drink of their streams. And there's more coming. These are just the beginning of the signs of the waters, the rivers, the lakes, the streams. Everything turned to blood. And there's more coming. Because when the second angel poured out his bowl upon the sea, it became blood. As a dead man, and everything lived in the sea died. Okay? And also the third angel poured out his bowl upon the rivers and the fountains of waters, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of the water say, and this is the reason for the blood, guys. There's a reason for it. You are righteous, O Lord, which are, which was, which shall be, because you have judged thus. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets. And you have given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. Guys, these blood judgments are judgments upon the nation for killing the believers in Jesus Christ. And there's going to be more of these. They're going to increase. And it's a sign in the last days that, yes, Jesus Christ is returning. These are signs of the trumpet judgment. This is the second trumpet judgment. There's more judgments like this coming in the future related to the bowls of Revelation. Okay, the two witnesses can do this. They can uh, exhibit these plagues at their will. Okay, by turning the rivers and the seas to blood. So guys, this is part of our playlist. On the trumpet judgments. We have a playlist called the seven trumpets. We're showing you proof and evidence that the seven trumpets are blowing. The judgments are taking place. Okay. We've shown you the fourth trumpet. We're showing you this one. The fires is the first trumpet. We saw the fires in California. We saw the fires in Australia. Okay. We're in the time of these judgments, guys. I can't emphasize that enough. So, guys... As we keep saying, as we keep showing you these judgments, you keep things, I want you to consider. Consider your ways. Consider your heart. Consider the world around you. Okay? Repent. If you haven't been seeing these things, many of you have been seeing these things, that's fine. Okay? But people are not telling you what it means. Yes, there's strange things happening. What does it mean? The Bible says these things would happen. It says these uh, signs will be indicators of where we are in the timeline. Okay, so the blood red rivers, these are indications of the timeline, indications of the trumpet judgments. Okay, and I know many of you hate this, and many of you are, are you know, hate these signs, you're mockers and scoffers, but we're going to keep saying this and keep showing the proof and keep blowing the trumpet in Zion. Amen.